money season has finally just arrived. Right now, we've been getting the biggest signs that the bull market has finally begun. After two years of downward cycle, Bitcoin has finally reclaimed its support back. And as you can see right now, the whole market is exploding to the upside. We're seeing massive moves within altcoins up to 100% within the last month. Now, what if I told you guys that this is just the beginning? And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys the tokens that I believe still have incredible gains to the upside. Plus, I'm gonna teach you how to chart them and how to get great entries for the bull market where you can sit back, relax, and allow the token to do what it needs to do. And then you will get the ultimate signal of when to take actual profits. Now, guys, just before we start, I have two things for you. The first one is get banter bubbles. The bubbles that's gonna help you with everything Whenever a token moves or whenever you see a pump in Bitcoin or pullback in Bitcoin, you click on the hour over here and you could see what is the best token moving when Bitcoin moves. Therefore, it gives you a place to go look at. It gives you an area or a token to look at trading possibly for the day. The second thing is, guys, the last cohort of 2023 starts in the next couple of days. This is Sniper School. This is going to give you every single thing and every single tool that you need to succeed in this market. You know what's crazy about money season is when it comes, you're left with your toolbox. And whatever skills you have, that's what you got to make money. So make sure you have the skills and make sure that you don't throw away all the money you're about to make. Okay, guys, let's get straight into the video. So the big thing that's obviously happened recently is Bitcoin has finally broken back in this range. And now we're in the territory of really getting insane growth to the upside. And this could be anything of Bitcoin raging back to the 40,000s, if not 50,000s, if not back to all time high. Now, how are you going to trade that? Very simple. You're going to replica exactly what Bitcoin just did. Now, I want to bring this back to you guys and show you guys something very simple as the Wall Street cheat sheet. One of the best things you're ever going to use. And you know what's great about it? You're seeing it all play out right now and over the last couple of months where we had an insane bull market to the upside. Then we had a very long crash to the downside. And then we went boring for a very long period of time. And a lot of people lost interest. And what you're going to start learning about crypto and investing in money in general is you are getting in when no one is interested. When everyone thinks it's terrible, they're not interested, they're bored. Um, that's the best time where you build your actual positions. So what the end of the day it teaches you, especially when it comes to emotional part of the cycle, is for you to be an incredible investor or someone that makes a lot of money in crypto is you are buying these current or these specific um, emotions over here and you're buying panic, you're buying denial, you're buying capitulation, anger, depression. That's where you are buying, where people are not making rational decisions. They upset, they want to quit, therefore they're very easy to let go of their tokens. That's where you are buying from. Now you got to understand this is a buying and a selling game. Someone buying from someone selling and therefore it runs very much on emotions. And it's the same thing when the markets are going up. Those depression phases, people were giving up and the smart money was buying. Then what happens is we start going to a point of hope, optimism, belief, thrill, euphoria, where the whole world's talking about crypto or Bitcoin or the markets going up. And all the guys that were buying anger, depression are now selling belief, thrill and euphoria. Okay, it's incredible how it works. And by printing this on your wall, it's going to save you a lot of time. Now, let me show you this now. Look at Bitcoin. Look how we had all the emotions, the euphoria, you know, everything. It's not going to stop. We're going to be millionaires Buy the Lambos. You know, that's where the mindset comes in. And look at that. Look how we rampaged and look how we sped up. Okay, and then all of a sudden, the, the smart money started selling into this. We started to go down in a correction and we started having this long bear cycle, right? Something where we come down aggressively um, and then we get to a point of slowdown. Now, I want to quickly explain this to you now. The biggest thing that's going to help you within the market is always buying tokens when they have slowed down, especially after big dumps, when they've slowed down and they've gone sideways. Exactly what this shows you over here when you see the slowdown phase over here. Um, and reason being is, is because a, a cycle actually starts off slow. It starts off very slow and it slowly starts to climb. And all of a sudden, it starts to speed up incredibly fast. Now, when it starts to speed up incredibly, incredibly fast, you're getting to a point of near the end of the pump. So if I show you this example on Bitcoin over here, you could see that it started the climb on this move here at $4,000, slowly climbed, slowly climbed over weeks and months, and we got to 10,000 until we started to hit the, the fast 
And you could see as soon as we hit the fast routes, yes, it was a couple of weeks or a couple of months of fast upside, but it did mean that we're getting very near the end. And that euphoria, what is euphoria? I can't miss this now. I need to get in now. Others are not going to be rich. It's that feeling of fastness. And that's why you see this massive push to the upside here and we increase really quickly. That's what you want to pay attention to. And it's the same thing over here. Fear. Get out there. I was wrong. I bought terrible. They, they scams. I'm not happy. And they start getting filtered out until you get to the point of going sideways where people lose interest. They're in the depression phase. Um, no one's getting views. Not much is happening at all. And this is the time where smart money plays. And this is where they accumulate. So you can see very clearly here, 18,000, 17, this whole range here, smart money was buying. And anyone that bought up here were very tired of crypto and never got in. But the big thing that you wanted to see was when we finally got out of the sideways phase and we cracked through this area here. What that basically means is we are through a stage of accumulation, of buildup, and this ultimately creates results. So a sideways movement is what creates preparation for the actual sustainability of that move. So if you have a look here, the sustainability of this, Bitcoin could pump all the way to 50K. It's accumulated enough for that current move. When it gets there, it will have to hit a point of slowing down and accumulating for another move. But you always need preparation in order to move. And I'll show you this piece over here. Look how we had to accumulate this whole period here to equal this entire result over here. And you could see it perfectly in play. But the big thing now is obviously looking at us cracking, getting out of that phase and starting acceleration. So you're using Bitcoin as your template to get the best gems right now. The only difference is what token, right? But you got to understand that there's going to be newer tokens, there's going to be older tokens, small cap tokens, big cap tokens. So you got to pay attention to the range and where you're buying this thing, okay? Because if you buy anything high at this point here and it's got a very small market cap, it's very likely you could lose probably 80, 70, 80% to the downside. And that's for real. If you don't time things right with small cap coins, uh, they can absolutely destroy you. But if you can catch them extremely early in these phases and you're buying when the smart money's buying, you, know, you can get potentials of up to 10 to 15 to 20 X your money, but you have to sell because they don't hold well in bear markets at all. So the first sign here was cracking out here and now we're starting the acceleration. Now I wanna show you guys a few tokens. Here's Ethereum, okay? Ethereum's right at that band of breaking through. Once that happens, all of a sudden the possibility of $3,000, if not the all time highs, now becomes available again. This is a preparation move for a strong move at any point. And the first thing you want to pay attention to is a breakthrough of this, and then you could start to move. So again, the sideways tokens on very high time frames, and this is the weekly one over here. These are the ones you want to pay attention to as well as the weekly breakouts. And once you get through there, you could see there's only a small amount of horizontals and how quickly price can accelerate. I want to show you a quick example, then I'm going to jump into a few of them for you. But here's the example over here when it comes to Chainlink. Look how long it accumulated and all of a sudden it broke it. Since then, it's up 100% in the last seven days. 100%. Just because you found the breakout, perfect point. Look how fast we are accelerating to the upside. So you're looking for tokens that are showing exactly the Wall Street cheat sheet. Tokens that have gone sideways for a long period and now breaking out and starting the new cycle. Getting into hope. Right now, we in hope or optimism when it comes to Chainlink. And you can see it perfectly over here. People are now starting to realize it again. They're starting to focus on it. They're starting to come back into the talks where I'm not going to lie, before this moment right now, I didn't hear Chainlink for the last six months. Nothing. No one was talking about it. No one was interested. Now, all of a sudden, everyone's interested again. So you see how beautifully they play out. And another one is Solana. Look at the sideways phase. Look how we're breaking out now. And all of a sudden, Solana's up 120% uh, within the last four weeks. Four weeks, 120% to the upside. Absolutely incredible. Now, let me give you guys a few gems here. I think Phantom is a massive one. Phantom is right at the bottom of the range over here. It has done the sideways pattern. And when I know we've done the sideways and we've been accumulating at the range low for such a long period, I draw a major trend line the same way I did with Bitcoin, the same, day, the same one that, that I did with Chainlink, and you catch it on the breakout. Okay, now what that basically means for me is if this, this token here starts to rage up, it's got a little bit of resistance here, 
which guess what? 150% away, by the way, just to first target, which is this area here. After that, you start looking at areas of back to 1.5, if not $2. I am still looking at, at uh, Phantom, for me, for the bull market, especially the entries we are getting at now and breaking the trend line, I'm still looking for a return of up to 600 to 700% within this token. But I can only accumulate it in this range. I buy it any later, I'm at risk. Secondly, I'm giving away tons of gains by buying it extremely late. So by you chasing any tokens right now, you're only shooting yourself in the foot. Because you've got to understand, if you look at Solana right now, you have two options, right? This was the time to buy it. But now you have two options. Either it's going to go there, or at some point it will come and retest there. And that's a 50-50 gamble. That's a red or black. You, want to, you don't want to do that. You want to get in right in the beginning. So Phantom is one of the big calls. The next one that I'm giving you guys is Polkadot. Now look at this. Look how you want to find a token that's gone down and accumulates it and catching it right at the verge of a weekly breakout. That's the entries you want. People think you need to work hard in a bull market. No, you don't. You need a badass good entry. Simple. So from here, I'm looking at us range at, uh, in a couple of months, couple of weeks, probably for the bull market, to be honest. Now, uh, yeah, I I'm looking around 300% on this trade. Now, guys, this can go back to all-time highs. This could end up being a 1,000% trade, okay? But for now, I'm taking these areas and I'm tracking it as we go. The best thing you want to learn in crypto is you want to understand that get your entry and eliminate your risk. Once that is done, you can worry about taking profits and building your positions bigger and all those things later. This is the entry. This is where you focus on, especially on a weekly close exit over here. But you got to understand, this is a weekly chart. Means that this is looking for data for the next couple of months. It takes time. Okay, and it's okay to make money, a lot of money in six months. Okay, you don't have to make it only one day, I promise you. Um, you need to play it smart. Um, and what's nice about this, by catching these higher time frame entries, you're not going to panic so much about your entries. You're going to buy them and you're going to be patient. But for the first time ever, you are buying here and you are not buying these emotions over here. And the sad thing is, a whole bunch of new people are going to come into the market in months from now and they're going to be buying those. You're going to be ahead at the bottom, actually selling into that. And that's the truth. Okay, next one over here is Near Protocol. Near Protocol, breaking right at the bottom of the wedge. I'm looking at a TP target. My first one, I'm looking at 450% over a couple months, and I have another target at 800%. Possible five to eight X over here, and we've broken trend, testing it right now. Um, then we have these ones over here, AVAX, beautiful wedge. Exactly what you want to see over here. Um, crack, if we, if we close outside here, I'm interested. I'm looking at around about 100% is TP1, and there is a target of up to 300-400%. Um, we have Doge. I'll give uh, uh, two more, two more. Doge, breaking right at the bottom, bottom of the range. I'm looking at a possible 3 to 5x uh, coming with Doge within this bull market. Um, we're looking at Litecoin. This one, I'm looking at the regions of around 300%. Now, guys, bringing it all back to what we're actually doing here. We just printed the Wall Street cheat sheet and we just saw it exactly on the charts. We just saw the emotions. We just saw the, the understanding of when we should be buying. Now on the weekly, this is a very high time frame data um, sort of look of it. And the fact that you can see the emotions and catch it so early on a very high time frame scale, it's going to save you so much. Now there's a few small tools. I'll show you one. Stochastic RSI on the weekly shows you when you're at the bottom oversold probably one of the best tools to use to, to accumulate, especially when you did dollar cost average, you want to buy a little bit every week, find tokens that are still in range, that are still at the bottom over there, that's going to help you a lot. Now, the next thing that I want you to pay attention is obviously those major daily trend lines. That's a big thing to focus on. And I want to remind you guys, this is weekly, this is easy. I probably just saved you a lot of cash, if I must be honest. If you stick to this, it's going to help you not buy the tops, okay? It's going to teach you that don't buy when the RSI is at the top. But I want to remind you guys that the best TA school is available to you guys right now. That gives you every single tool that you need, every single pattern, every single trend line, support and resistance, Fibonacci's, uh, moving averages, stochastic RSI's, everything is here. But you want to know it's even better than that is you actually have rules. I'm going to teach you how to, to, um, be nice to yourself, but be strict with yourself, you know, to teach you that you are greedy. So let's put a couple of rules there to stop you from the greed, because I want you to make the money. I don't want you to become a millionaire and lose it, guys. I don't want you to, crypto has a great tendency of doing that. 
um, making you a lot of money and end of the day taking it. So the rules are going to help you. I'm going to teach you how to take profits. I'm going to teach you how to put stop losses, to protect your risk, to be smart when you're investing. Then we have the areas of teaching how to make money if the markets go up or down. Okay, very important. You've got long and short term strategies. Uh, you've got a bit of leverage, which I use as a tool um, to make small amounts of money quickly. Okay, um, and to use them for small things. Not This is not going to create long term wealth for you at all but it will get you from step one, step two, step three, and then you need to start stepping on the high timeframes and start doing it correctly. This is a way to inflate you in the beginning and help you, especially if you don't have a lot of capital, um, but it, it will wreck you later on if you get fully addicted to it. So you use it for a certain point in time. Um, and then there is a portfolio splitting system as well. So I want you guys to come and join school. If everything breaks out now, guys, you're gonna need a community. You're gonna need support. You're gonna need these things to help you every single day. And that's what the school's gonna give you guys. It's gonna help you with like-minded people, people with experience that have been through these markets before. They are there to help you on this whole journey and to make sure that you don't make the same mistakes. Go below in the description, hit the sign up button and come join me for the last cohort. Again, I've given you Phantom, Nia, Dot, AVAX, Doge and Litecoin. I've given you a couple of gems there that I believe can three to five X in the next bull markets offer a very simple strategy.